welcome to our new channel. Emily's my daughter um, and we together are starting up a new little business which is very exciting. Um, total fish out of, no, is it fish out of water? Ducks out of ponds? I don't know. Um, something we've never done before but we are going to go for it. We are going to enjoy the experience. We're going to get frustrated with the experience. We're going to have all sorts of emotions with the experience but we're going to do it anyway. So what is this new business? Well, we're going to start making candles. Um, yeah, which is very, very exciting. Why? Why are we making candles? Well, I'll give you a little bit of a background check um, for you to fully understand the picture. Lovely Emily over here. Um, she has Asperger's um, or is Asperger's, never really know how to say it, um, and has struggled with that all her life uh, in one way or another. Um, not all doom and gloom, the Asperger's makes Emily who she is and she's very funny and lovely and kind and caring and and frustrating and annoying sometimes and oh, all those yeah. typical things that the kids are, but it does make her who she is and we would not have her any other way and we wouldn't change a thing. Um, but the one thing the Asperger's has done is made life and I know life is difficult for everybody, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, she's had a lot of challenges along the way um, and a lot of struggles to overcome. And we've had quite a quite a journey, haven't we, over the years yeah. with schooling and oh, all sorts of things. And that's all just another story for another day. Um, but the reason behind the candle making business is that Emily, about five or six months ago, just randomly said, could I make candles? At, and at the time, I just said, no, don't be so ridiculous. Firstly, far too many instructions to follow, um, the pressure, getting all the timings right, etc. and so forth, and whatever. No, you cannot make candles. And then the idea obviously settled itself in my brain. And five, six, seven months later, I thought, actually, that wasn't half a bad idea. Um, so I started researching into it and looking at it and... Um, yeah, just proper studying candle making for quite a few months now, the last couple of months. I've been watching videos of it too. Emily's been watching videos of it too. And yeah, I figured actually, why not? Because, you know, fails, it fails. But who's to say it's going to not do brilliantly? Um, and whatever else is something MZ wants to do. And it's something Carling and I will enjoy doing. It's a brand new thing. It's something we can do together. Neither of us have obviously done anything like this before, so, you know, it could be really good fun. Um, and, you know, so we we have decided we are going to make candles. Um, we have bought all the equipment. Well, no, we haven't, because I've already realised there's things that we still need to get. And we just thought our first video, because, um, you know, we we also thought, why not create a channel? Um, it means that we can look back on on the start of our journey. We can see the mistakes we made. We can see the laughs we hopefully would have along the way. Um, and it's something if the business was, if it was to become okay. a, a business that did well, we could look back and reflect on where we started. Um, this is the very beginning. This is the very beginning. This is literally day one. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd start a channel and we thought that it would be quite nice just to introduce ourselves, um, explain a little bit about why we're doing, oh, I, you know, I will say um, the other reason behind doing this little candle making project slash hopefully business is that Emily is an age now where she really wants to go to work. Um, she's been at the local college for the last few years on like a course. Five years actually, I worked out. On a course specially designed to help people like or kids or young adults like Emily um, get ready for the workplace. Uh, build the social skills that they need, the confidence, the self-esteem, um, just the ability to to be able to be in the workplace. Um, and she's been doing that for quite a few years and she's done brilliantly and her confidence has definitely grown in that time. Um, but finding work placement was very difficult. She does now do a Monday in a shop, which she enjoys doing. Um, but she's also desperate to start earning her own money. Um, so we just thought maybe this will help that along. Who knows? If if me and her start a little business, if it brought in a bit of money, who's to say that she can't create her own small little business um, 
and then the whole workplace thing wouldn't even be an issue so you know why not that, that's what the theory is it's it's doing something with MZ. it's um me and her doing something together but with the potential for it to possibly become a job for her you've got to do what you can do especially times like now i mean i know we're thinking of starting candles and people haven't got any money so there's many many reasons why this could be a really stupid idea the market is saturated with candle makers after covid um but you know if we didn't do it for that reason all those reasons if we didn't do this we would never know you know everyone's got to start somewhere and um whatever else this is going to teach emily a whole new way of doing things in terms of the following the instructions working under the pressure what it takes to run a little business or, or so many things she's going to learn which will which will help her anyway so it's worth doing regardless and um, so yes that's enough from me and that's enough about explaining what's what if you want to join us on our journey from day one then uh please do it would be great to have you um yeah subscribe and if you want to be notified of our little videos that'll be popping up i can't guarantee what they're going to be like but um you know if you want to join in and follow us then press the little bell is it and then you'll get <laughs> notified um when our next video is up um for now let's get straight into this one albeit seven minutes later so longest introduction ever um and we're going to inbox all the things that we have bought so far all right thank you in no particular order um i've been buying this stuff for the, and we've got boxes here and i i honestly don't know what's in each box so we're just gonna start at the back there see this box right here that was a purchase one of the first purchases so Why i'm gonna grab look that like, it looks like a h yeah it does um we're gonna <laughs> grab that unbox that and um yeah see what it's like so as you can see from the picture do you know what this is ends it's the candle stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's definitely so you do the candle stuff. Um, Looks like a washing machine. It look like a washing machine. Let's open it up and then you'll be able to see. <laughs> um, so I got some scissors. So I'm just going to open this box a minute and um, get out what's inside. You can chat to the video, Ems. Uh... Tell everybody what it's like having Asperger's. Why? Because I want to be growing up like everyone else. Yeah? And what means, why, why are you, do you feel like you're not growing up like everybody else? Because I don't understand things. Hmm. Well, not everybody's grown up. You've probably grown up than quite a few other people. Dun dun dun! Ooh! <laughs> Do you know what that music's from? No. Here it comes. Whoa. I still don't know what this is. This is... Aha. I don't know what his actual name is, but it is for melting the candle wax in. Now, you know, admittedly... There she is. <laughs> most people when they start this journey of making candles get a pitcher jug and a pan of water and um that's how they start off but no no not us no we didn't even go with the pesto pot we've gone straight in with a wax melter nice shiny brand new wax melter so um yeah it's got a temperature dial there does it have a pouring spout? Because that would be nice. Or... Ooh! There is a pouring spout. I don't know how to get it out. Ooh! That right. <laughs> how? Because I said there is a pouring pout, spout. I don't know how to get it out. <laughs> well, that is very exciting. Look. It has a pouring pout, spout. So, Ems. You put the wax in here, which you'll see in a minute, and it melts to a certain temperature, and then you press this. Oh, I think we need to make that a bit more secure. And the wax pours out of there. That's so cool. It is very cool. So we have got a stainless steel. I hope that this bit here is very plasticky, so I'm not 100% sure. 
This feels lovely, this. To be fair, feels a bit naff, but we will see. Feels like if I do that, it's just gonna break. But we'll see. Might have to find a different pouring spout. So, Oon Wax Burner. I have no idea how much it holds, but definitely enough for us for the start of our candle making business. That's that. Right. You ready for another box? Yeah. Right. I don't know what's in this box. Do you want to open the box? Should I open the box? There's some scissors there to help open the box. Right, stop just from you cut it here where the tape joins and then along here <laughs> rather than the actual box and you should just be able to rip. And inside box is inside another box. See if you can open that box. This it is something I struggle with about my um, work experience. We just need to do this. So this is, oh. That's <laughs> what the candle goes in. <laughs> it's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. We're not going to get a lot of wax in there, are we? We're going to need to buy another jug. Yeah, it's all part of learning as we go. Oh, I thought this is what the candle goes in. No, that. So you go to, when your wax is heated on your melter, you go to the spout, put it underneath and pour your wax in. I just thought it would be about this big. Well, so, you thought wrong. A little bit of a problem over that. Need another one. But anyway, there we go. We've got that. Um, put that there. This I bought. This is rubbing alcohol because apparently it's um, before you pour your wax into your vessels, the containers, jars, whatever you want to call them, it's good to clean the inside of the glass with that beforehand. And rubbing alcohol apparently is the thing to use. We also have thermometer. Why do we need a thermometer, Ems? Mm, to see the temperature temperature of the wax because um so i've learned you've got to heat the wax to a certain temperature before you pour it it's got to be a certain temperature before you add the fragrance oil um so we've got one of these i think it's a meat probing you can get laser thermometers and all sorts but we've just gone for this one so we've got that we've also got this which is a wick trimmer Quite self-explanatory. Trimming the wicks. That's why it's called a wick trimmer. So we got one of those. I'm gonna put that in that incredibly small pitcher jug. Right, now we've got another book. It is so like Christmas, isn't it? Yes. I love this. This book is very heavy. <laughs> There's a lot of boxes. There's a lot of boxes, and this one is very heavy. So we got this box, which says Golden Wax 494. It definitely shouldn't be Golden Wax 494 because I have not ordered Golden Wax 494, or have I? I kind of read it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. No, I don't think it's called 494 that we've ordered. I've got a question for you. Why did you want to make candles in the first place? What was it that made you say, can we make candles? Because, um... It has a nice um, feeling to them. Mm -hmm. What do you mean feeling? Feel of the candle. Yeah, when I watch people unbox candles or um, videos, they always say that it helps them feel um, relaxed. Ah, right. Okay. And motivated. Motivated. Right, this is... Oh, uh, yes. Don't know. Don't know if we've made a little bit of an error. Well... We haven't made an error because we are just starting off. So, you know, it's all going to be testing, testing, testing. One thing I've learned from candle making videos is that it's all about the testing. We want to do sort of um, more sustainable candles. We've not candles with chemicals, uh, nothing wrong with paraffin candles, but um, we want to go down the more sort of natural route as far as we can. So I've ordered um, some eco wax and to be fair, <laughs> 
bit like the wax melter, considering we've never used it before. I might have ordered a little bit much, but it was on offer. So it's one of those, if it works, brilliant. Um, we got it at a good price and that's great. But if we don't get on with it, uh, uh. anyway, this, Emily. <laughs> Oh wax. my god, I know, <laughs> I know exactly what that is. Well, I've told you what it was. No, but I've seen it on um, TikTok. People go like that and they put it in. So this wax... Why is there so much of it? Well, because... <laughs> I, um, yeah, most people would probably have bought, I don't know, a kilo bag. <laughs> I actually don't know how much this is. This is, um... This is this is a mere ten kilo bag, so yes. Feels really. Nice. I have actually had a bit of a panic moment with this because I've since seen some um, some like videos etc done with this where they just cannot get it whipped right, and the hot, the cold throw hasn't been particularly good, but. I'm staying positive because the write-up was very good and I'm sure there's just as many people out there that have had quite a bit of success with this because perseverance, perseverance I think is the key and um, yeah, Wait, if we don't this get what, this straight away we will. Is that what makes the candle? Yeah, so you melt, this This goes in the pot and gets heated up so it becomes a liquid which oh, you pour in the pitcher which you then pour into your jar and then you make your candle. So we've got this. We need to get a we need to get a container to keep this in, which is one thing I didn't get. So that's on the list of still to get. Let's put that back in there for that. Oh gosh! So what have we got so far? We got the wax melter. We got the wax. We've got the pitcher jug, which is very small. We've got the wood wick trimmer. We've got the thermometer. We've got the rubbing alcohol. So far, so good. Yes. Yes. Another box. How many boxes? And we got another box. Another box. Shall I open this box? Yes. What sort of smells do you want in your candles, Ems, do you think? Um, lavender. Lavender? Why lavender? Because the smell of lavender. Nice purple colour. Little packaging out the box. Ooh! First thing in the box is. Do you know what this will be? No idea. So that sits on top of your jar and you put the wicks in it and it helps to keep the wick centre when it's solidifying. Do you know what it means? Nope. So when the. You know the, the candle is a liquid, it starts, we've melted it. Yeah. Well, as it cools down, it becomes more solid again. So that's when it becomes the candle. And you've got to keep the wicks in the right place. And they help that. So we have got quite a few of those. Because again... <laughs> uh, I've done the sensible thing and just bought a couple for testing. I've gone full all in because, you know, that is what I do. So what is this? Oh, this is um, stickers. So that was the, just so you can see, the wick <laughs> um, centering tool, wick centering tool. This is the stickers, which you put at the bottom of your wick um, before you put them in the jar, holds the wick in place. So we've got quite a few of those, as you can imagine. We've got, how many bags? How many do you reckon we've got? How many bags? Sixty. Got one, two, three, four. Four bags of those. And then I'm just gonna put the box on the floor because it's just a bit easier. What are these? We've got lots of these. These are wicks. Oh yeah. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boxes of wicks. I'll tell you why I bought eight boxes of wicks. It's because everywhere, I've gone on about testing, 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 and I already know that the wax that we've got there is quite hard to wick. 
So we've bought all sorts of wicks. We've bought the CL range of wicks in various sizes and Stablo wicks in various sizes. Do you want to see what a wick looks like, Em? Yeah. So there's the wick. I think I've seen that before. And then you pop it on your sticker. And then you pop this on the glass. This comes up. And you see how it would keep it centered in the glass, centered in the glass, sort of. Yeah. If you imagine that was in a glass. So we've got all of that, all present and correct. So what else do we need? Mm. A candle. Yeah. Well, we're going to make the <laughs> candle, but what's the candle going to be in? Uh, them, uh, circle things. In the vessels, in the jars. So we have got some of those as well. Woohoo! These are my favourite They're glass, remember? So we got these. What do you think? It's quite could, big. This could be the thumbnail. But yeah, we got these. We got clear ones. So if Emsy wanted to start doing candles that were coloured, they would look quite cool. I want to think... do um, pink and purple ones. I think blue. No, it has to some blue, but some purple as well. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I want to this do is going to be your range of I candles. To... We're not going to be doing coloured wax to start off with, obviously, because that will be a whole another range of testing, but that's what we got. So now you can see that fits on there. So when the wix is in it, it keeps it centre. So we've got clear ones. I think they are 30 CL glasses, I think. And we've got six of those. So that's cool. And then we've got some more. No, we've got another four of these. So that's how many we've got? Six and then another four. Ten. ten. So we've got ten clear glasses. And we got another box. Box sliding. Sliding into position. Um. Is that like a stuff again? We got a more sensible bag of wax. This is what I originally ordered before I went with that other ridiculous. To be honest, I wasn't really sure. I mean, I got this in five kilograms and I wasn't sure what that actually looked like in terms of how many candles you could make out of it and blah, blah, blah. Um, so this was what I initially ordered, which is the Nature Wax C3. Again, I've heard some good things about it and some not so good things about it. So, you know, not going to let that put me off. Not going to let that put the fear of God in me that I've gone with two really bad waxes because there are people out there that use it and do good things with it. So, we got this wax as well in. Soy wax, the other one's coconut wax. Is that cool? Yeah. I like the feel of it. And then we've got... Ooh! some lids got some nice wooden lids so I'm not sure if they fit those we'll get them out first shall we I like the black ones I like the black ones we don't seem to have so many black ones all right and then we've got more boxes so so we've got all these boxes let's have a look because some of these boxes are quite light. Some of these boxes are not so light. These nice lids, look, we've got black lid. That's my favourite. Yeah, me too. The wooden way, uh, wooden effect. And then some slightly smaller wooden effect ones. Uh, so that's cool. Right, this box we have got, ooh! <laughs> nice. Think of these. They're also my favourite ones. Glass. So they, these lids, what do you think? That look quite smart. Yeah, what's this even for? That's what the candle goes in. But how are you supposed to see the candle if it's like... Well, you, no, this is just to protect it. And obviously when people buy it, they uh, take the... Stand it on it. Black on black's quite cool. That looks quite cool. These are my favourite. So that's cool, we've got six of those there. And that. 
Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? I should pop that over there a minute. And then this one is... Oh, cool. Another six of the blacks. We've got 12 of those. Then this. Oh, yeah. Tins. Oh, is that for little ones? So we got this, this size, the black. I think they were 30 CLs. We've got... I'll leave one of those out in a minute. We've got... The clear glass, which are 30 CLs. Um, put that over there a second. And then Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. Nice. I, I like, like that. that it's like a blue. So that that looks no, it needs to no, be... No, that's too small. That doesn't go well with it. No, I don't think so either. We might have to get a different colour top. I think white would be cool. But they are very smart. So we've got six of those. Twelve of those. When you said that's too small, I think you meant it's too big. Oh, uh, yeah, too big, sorry. So we've got twelve of these. We've got the tins. We've got twelve of the clear glass and twelve of the matte black. Right, M's. Um, so we've got the lids for the candles, we've got the jars for the candles, we've got the wicks, we've got the wick trimming tool, we've got the pitch, we've got the thermometer, the rubbing alcohol, we've got the we've wax, got a lot. we've got the stickers, we've got the vessels. Can you think of the one other thing we need? A lighter. Yeah, oh, a lighter, we need a lighter. Mm. I mean, we've definitely got enough here to make a candle, but what did you want the candles to, what, do they, what is it you like about the candles? The smell. The smell. You get the smell from the fragrance oil. And we have got three. So we're going to smell them. I definitely didn't go massive with the smells. Because I don't even... Some um, fragrance oils don't work with some waxes. So I might have picked three, three fragrance oils. that don't even work with the wax we've got. So until we tested them, we're not going to know. But I only bought small ones. I was sensible with the fragrance oils. Not so sensible with the rest of the stuff. But anyway, this one we is... We need to get more black ones. Um. What's your favourite thing to do ever at night time? Like, what is the one thing that chills you right out that you love to do? Sing. Yeah, no. Have a, have a bath. Have a bath. But it's not just have the bath. What is it that you like the best? How do you fill the bath up? Do you fill it up with taps like ordinary people? Yes. Do you? I thought you loved the shower, the sound of the shower. Yeah, but I always put it on 10 minutes after having a Well, anyway, that failed miserably. <laughs> when Emily was little, she absolutely loved the sound of the shower. And um, she'd spend way too long in it because of the fact she liked the sound of the shower. And this is Emily's story, this, this candle business, blah, de, blah, blah. And it's Emily's range. And I was trying to think, you know, how could we incorporate all of it into the candles that we make here? And I was thinking that she used to, especially when she was younger, love the showers. Obviously, you can't... I don't do it now because um, of the electric bill. Yeah, exactly. That's why I only have a bath, but I do put the shower on 10 minutes after the bath. Um, so, um, yeah, but you only you only half fill the bath. You don't ever fill the bath right up, do you? So you're not actually like wasting hundreds of water, are you? So that's cool. No. We do have strict rules on the amount of water usage in this house. Um, anyway, <laughs> to make a candle which reflects the sound of the shower, I figured we could do one that perhaps smell of the rain. <laughs> so this fragrance, and we'll see now because we're going to do the fun bit and see what we think of the smells. <laughs> This should smell like rain. How are you In fact, to... I'm not going to tell you what the next one smells like. See if... How are you supposed to know what rain smells like, though? Well, because when... I don't even know you get into the bottle. <laughs> rain doesn't have a smell. Well, it does when it hits the ground and stuff like that. I've never smelt rain before. How the flipping Nora do you get into the bottles? I'll tell you what, I've never watched a video where they had this much trouble getting into a bottle. Oh, 
this is disappointing because this is the fun bit. Yeah. Just careful because you don't want to go everywhere. <laughs> Who tightened this up? I don't know. Have you done it? Good girl. Oh. Try that one. Oh, that one's easy. So that one is really tricky. You might have to come back to that one. Let me Ow. go. Well, this is rid ridiculous. Right, I have to come back to that one. So forget the whole story about the shower for the moment. This one. Oh, yeah. What do you think this smells like? Hang on, M's and Mises. Ooh. Ooh. Smells like soap. Oh, it's actually really nice. Do you like it? Yes. Do you know what that. our candle gonna smell like? Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and test it and see. But hopefully. Yeah, I like I like that. That's like f like fresh washing. That's what that smells like. Which is good because that's what it's supposed to be. Like this one. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Lavender. Well, you're going to have to order. Oh. You're going to have to order a lavender one. Right, don't work out what it is. Just see if it reminds you of something. You ready? My boyfriend's um, aftershave. <laughs> <laughs> not smelling like I was hoping it would smell. I mean, it's nice. It's not reminding me of what I thought it would remind me of. I don't know what it reminds me of. I was hoping it would be a bit beachy. Seasidey. Because obviously we live near the sea. No, I'm not getting that, are you? I don't I know. I do like it. I don't I don't know what it smells like. Hmm. I don't know how to describe it. I want to smell this one. That's the washing one. Careful you don't I cannot believe we can't get into this bottle. I mean, they've literally super glued it on, I think, which is really disappointing. Done it. So. Oh, oh, God, at first I thought I don't like that. And then I thought, oh, actually, I think I do like that. Do I like it? It smells like toothpaste. No, it doesn't smell anything like toothpaste. There's it no, does. There's nothing, there's nothing minty about that. Absolutely does not smell it anything does like me. toothpaste. No, have another think. Does that smell anything like toothpaste? A little bit. No, there is no mintiness about that whatsoever. So we smell like the rain. I cannot decide. That's a really funny one. Toothpaste. I gotta say, it's really interesting because I've been looking forward to doing the fragrance testing. I like and them. And I can't decide. I like them, but they didn't, they didn't make me go, ooh. That's amazing. It's because you need a lavender. A uh, lavender. But hey ho, we'll see what they smell like in the candle. Quite exciting. So anyway, that is it. That is, I do believe, everything we need apart from, what do we need? A heat gun. That's on its way. What's a heat gun? A lighter for lighting the candles. Um, I think we've literally got everything we need to make quite a few candles. Um, so yes, that is our unboxing um, video and I'll give you a quick, well, I don't think I need to really, so I've shown you everything. We've got the can, the fragrance, the that lids. That is my favourite thing. The stickers. That's my favourite. Yeah, the wick centering tool. We've got our wicks. we got our various vessels thermometer picture and yes i'm going favorite thing the wax melting with the not very sturdy spout which is very disappointing i have to see i can't see that lasting very long at all I have to be very careful with that that's everything that is our unboxing and complete please. what are we thinking ems are we looking forward to making our I first wanna, i want to make one already yeah we can't do it today but are we looking forward to making our first candle yes me too. It's just now we've got to decide which wax we're going to go with because obviously one melting pot 
two wax although we could use the pitcher and the double burner boiling pan on the stove method thing um yes so anyway uh, there we go this is our journey into candle making i'm so sorry this was an incredibly long video as it turns out but it's an unboxing video it's us at the very start and i really hope that you um join us for our candle making journey I mean, who knows? This time next year, we could be quite a successful little business. I was thinking by Christmas. By Christmas. Um, who knows? Anything is possible. Anything is possible if you just believe that anything is possible. Yes. So anyway, from me and Emily, um, thank you for joining us in this video showing all our new product uh, candle making equipment and hopefully we will see you in the next video which will be us trying to make a candle yeah um yeah so join us subscribe press the bell thing like the video even if it was a bit long-winded because you know at the same time this could be quite an enjoyable thing for others to watch especially young adults like em maybe it would reach them and they might have fun watching and if they're lacking in confidence to try things and all the rest of it it might inspire them to have a go at something themselves um so yeah like the video which would help us by getting it seen um and yeah hopefully we will see you in the next one um and if you've pressed the bell you'll know exactly when that is because you'll get notified so yeah over and out i think see you later thank you very much Leave any comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.